Welcome back to another Canon Quick Shot, a quick review of a non-comic book movie. Today I'm looking at Beauty and the Beast. Yes, the tale is old this time. We all know the story. I'm not going to get into that. Just going to get into the review. I didn't really like this movie. Now, I'll throw out a disclaimer. I, like every 90s baby, grew up with the Disney classics, but Beauty and the Beast was not one of my favorite. I watched all the movies, and I love some. I like all the movies, including Beauty and the Beast. But it's just not in my top five. Some people have their favorites, and I know this is a beloved one for some people, but it's not mine. So, just is what it is. So, I already went in with some type of feelings about it, but I just think this movie did no justice for it. I think the number one problem is the beast. And when you have somebody whose name is in the title, and they're a problem in the movie, that's a big issue. His CGI was terrible. Now, I'll admit, I didn't watch too many of the trailers, but the one, two that I did watch, I was like, oh, okay, you know, we'll see it on big screen. And everybody was complaining about CGI before the movie came out. I'm like, it looks okay. Let's see how it looks. I'm sure it'll be touched up in the movie. No, it was not. That did not look good at all. I, I'm not even going to try to come up with a joke for it. It just didn't look good. The CGI was done terribly. And then they had him like in the bed with his shirt off so you could really see the beast's body, not just the head. And it just all looked terrible. It looked so bad. And it took me out of the movie completely. I think the rest of the crew, you know, the candle, the clock and all that was fine. The wardrobe was a little weird, but everything was pretty decent. The beast just, but that's the that's the main one. And then if you were going to make him animated instead of practical, then why didn't you make him at least really big? Like he felt like he, he was maybe a few inches taller than um, than Bell. And so I'm just like, well, okay, the beast is six one. Like that's not really beastly. I mean, yeah, he's hairy, but. I don't know. If you took the horns away, it would have looked kind of like Teen Wolf. That's what it kind of reminded me of. I was laughing so much through this movie when I wasn't supposed to be laughing. I was like, dude, this, this they could have used the Teen Wolf makeup and just let Dan Stevens play it. But um, the CGI for the Beast was bad. And then the love story. And I'm not, it's real hard for me to get into a love story in a movie because it's so quick. And they spent time together, but it just seemed like it came out of nowhere. And Emma uh, Watson, to her credit, is really good at playing different emotions. So when she was mad at the Beast, I'm like, man, how is he going to win her back? And it just it just happened like that for no reason. Oh, here's my library. Oh, we're in love. So I, I don't know. I don't remember the original movie that much. I haven't seen it in a year. So I don't know if it was that quick and cheesy in the movie, but... In this, in the new movie, ugh, it was like, what? They just in love all of a sudden. So I thought the pacing was a little, it was good. It was a little too quick. For a two hour movie, I thought it moved well, but I think it hurt the love story. So as far as going to see it, definitely a red box. I mean, you might as well just go get the animated movie and watch that instead. Uh, but it's not a horrible, horrible movie. It's just that I, I, it doesn't compare at all. I think it's cool seeing live action stuff, but uh, I would rather just watch the animated one. And um, I will say shout out to my man Luke uh, Evans. His guest star? Come on. that That's Oscar word. That boy's a beast. So uh, I'm going to rate it. Uh, I'm going to rate it at a. Um, I'm going to give it a 62. So, uh, I know it's fresh on Rotten Tomatoes. No, that's a D, so aim a little higher in life. So, I'm giving it 62% overall out of 100. Um, but if you saw Beauty and the Beast, let me know what you thought. If you're a big fan of Beauty and the Beast, let me know how it compares to the original movie. Like, thumbs up, subscribe, and if you heard it here, it's official canon.